Hey guys, and welcome back to the Teach Hanley channel. My name's Thomas, or better known on the internet as Thomas in Action, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to grow a beard the right way. Before we get started, I did just want to say I've only just recently completed a three month beard growth journey of my own, uh, growing facial hair for the first time, and finally I've found a length and style that really works for me. However, I do have to say there are a few things that I wish I knew before I started my beard growth journey, just to make things a little bit easier along the way. And in this video, I'm going to save you the hassle right here and now. Uh, and run you through what you need to know about growing a beard if you've been strongly considering it for a while. Number one, the rate that a beard grows is completely dependent on your personal genetics, okay? So it's really important to keep this in mind that just because your beard and patchy bits didn't grow out in three seconds like Greg Bozinski's did, doesn't mean you won't get there in the end. You really need to be patient with it and just let it fill in on its own. With my beard growth journey, I wasn't even remotely happy or satisfied with my patchiness until about, I think, the second month. Here's a couple of pictures if you want to see that. Uh, and I really think patience is something that you're going to need to prepare for if you're going to go through with this, okay? The second thing is most beard care products that claim to speed up hair growth don't actually work as intended. So again, going back to point number one, be patient and don't waste your money, all right? I would hate for you to do that. The third thing is if you're unsure if this whole beard or facial hair thing is even gonna work out for you, I would give it a bigger purpose than just your aesthetic pleasure, okay? Do it for charity like No Shave November or if you're a content creator like I am, uh, do it for your audience. Once I made the commitment that I was going to grow my beard out for at least three months, it made it way harder for me to back out of it because A, the audience was now expecting the content and B, I can't stand the idea of being thought of as a quitter. So I really think giving it a higher purpose than just how you look is really gonna help you stick it out. And number four, don't waste your time with beard growth supplements either, okay? Uh, the brands that are targeting you on Facebook about using their vitamins to magically grow a beard are just preying on you and hoping that you feel insecure enough to buy their product, which to be quite frank, personally, I think is quite disgusting. And in all honesty, you're better off just knuckling down, boosting your diet, boosting your exercise, and trying to keep your testosterone and DHT levels at a healthy median. So those are the four main things that I wanted you to look out for before you get started on this journey. Uh, and I'm sure if you follow those tips, you'll save yourself a bunch of time and a bunch of money. Perfect. Now, let's talk about the actual beard growth process and maintenance. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is stop shaving. I know, you didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> Cliche. Uh, once you decide that you're going to actually go through with this, pick a date, and once you get to that date, no more shaving. The only thing you're allowed to do, if you absolutely have to, is trim and tidy up your neck area. I did this on my beard growth journey as well, uh, because under here can get really nasty and give you almost homeless man vibes, which nobody wants that, okay? To make sure you aren't shaving too high, get your rude finger and your index finger and place them on your neck and put your rude finger on your Adam's apple and that's your boundary, okay? Any higher than that and your beard's gonna look funny and all the frustration that you go through with growing it out will be for nothing. And who wants that? Another thing to remember when you're growing your beard is to keep the skin that your beard is actually growing from healthy and fresh. Just because half of your face is about to disappear under a layer of hair doesn't mean the responsibilities of keeping the area clean are going to disappear as well, okay? Unfortunately, it's still there. Two of the worst things a guy can experience during this process is beard dandruff and beard acne, okay? I actually found beard dandruff to be one of the most uncomfortable, most itchy things ever, and it was a really bad experience if I'm honest. So to ensure that you get neither of these things, just make sure you're exfoliating at least twice a week and use a daily facial cleanser to prevent any dirt buildup and keep the path or the area nice and clear. And also make sure you're using a facial moisturizer to keep the skin hydrated. If you don't do these things, you are gonna experience dandruff uh, and beard acne. And what's even worse is your beard could end up growing even slower because just like in Hair World, uh, if the source of the hair isn't healthy, the hair that comes out of it isn't gonna be healthy either, okay? Same goes for the beard. In terms of products for keeping your skin nice and clear during this process, I recommend the Tiege Hanley Level 1 system. It's the system that works for me and I like to use. Uh, it's super simple and has all the products that I just mentioned before, all in one package with instructions as well. So it's really, really simple, okay? 
And lastly, when it comes to keeping your beard in really good condition and looking amazing, uh, you wanna keep it as clean and soft as possible. That's the goal. The best thing to do to achieve this is to invest in a beard oil and stick to washing it with a beard shampoo once a week and conditioning at least three times a week. I know, a lot, right? But washing and conditioning your beard shouldn't really be a big ordeal either because you can get it all done in the shower. All you need to do is wet your beard with warm water, apply your shampoo, you don't need too much, just enough to cover the area and foam it up a little bit and really get in there. Then gently massage it in a circular motion. Uh, let it sit for a few minutes to let the shampoo really penetrate and clean every hair. And then finally, you just rinse it out like you would with your normal hair and pat your face dry before applying your beard oil, okay? And for conditioning, it's pretty much the same process. All you need to do is uh, do it more regularly and don't do it on shampoo day. The reason I say don't do it on shampoo day is a personal preference. I just like my routines to be as uncomplicated as possible. So by separating them, there's one less step in the process. And yeah, I feel like if you wanna do yourself any favors, you should do it separately as well. You get the same result. And that brings us to the end of today's video, guys. Uh, if you follow everything that I just mentioned, you'll be on your way to growing a top-notch beard in no time. I really do hope you found these tips useful and I bid you best of luck on your beard growth journey ahead, okay? If you have any hiccups along the way or you have any further questions about what we discussed in this video, make sure you hit us up in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you're interested in seeing more videos from T. Hanley on skincare, just click here, or if you wanna learn more about T. Shanley in general and their products, you can click here. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what the bloody hell are you waiting for? You can either click here, here, or that red button down there. Just make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and uh, you won't miss any of our updates, okay? I'm Thomas in Action and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.